The day before Gordon passed away, um, we were very much deep into the casting process. I received a phone call from our casting director um, saying that Gordon was hospitalized and that it was actually quite serious. About 24 hours later, we received the call that Gordon had passed away um, in the hospital due to complications of pneumonia. We were 10 days out of production. And it was the greatest loss that this Blackstone family had ever or could ever see. Well, I mean, you know, Gordon passing away was, um, first of all, it, you know, it was a shock. You know, it, it's one of those things where it's hard to imagine that somebody that you worked with and, you know, cared about and, and had a relationship with won't be there anymore. Uh, the TV show, obviously, you know, we had a job to do. The show must go on. But there was a real significant mourning that I had personally, and I think that our production team had as well. And there was, a, there was always a level of respect for Gordon that I think superseded the show. The funeral was an opportunity for us to honor Gordon and to take that time that we were unable to take to give to him together. Well, the funeral scene, um, it was something that I kept putting off and putting off. And we, we did a really, there was something that I wanted to do as, as in respect of Gordon, because I have a tremendous amount of respect for him and his family, is that we wanted to find a way to honor Gordon while we we're honoring our character Cecil in a story world. But I think that Gordon really transcended the story world and television because he was such a, an icon and a legend. And I will share with you that his loss was very evident on set and in this production. He was missed.